Hey folks, it's Matt Rabbit back in Medieval Minecraft Creations. Yes, we're actually going to try and build something on the air today. Just wanted to show you off in this uh, remote section of the Newcastle area. A few buildings and roadways I've been working on and probably uh, things I'll be building in the future. Just wanted to do a little brainstorming. So I will show you some of these just a little bit here and there. Workshop, uh, kind of different crap. Um, leading out, 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 out. The different vast areas. So as you see here, we got stuff going off in all directions. Yes, we will be doing a prison eventually. And um, yeah, we just we got so much room here to build. Like you can literally can't even see the main keep from here. That's how far away everything is. And I still got more buildings and things to add. So yeah, it's going to be pretty huge, pretty elaborate. Um, when everything's said and done. Um, Mage Academy, big huge library, portals. What do I have over here? Ar another archery range, like we, one we had back there, but uh, the old castle. But I'm going to make a bigger one this time. Um, kind of a hunter's guild with dog kennels, bows, Fletcher, all that kind of connected in one area. Oh yes, this was the art museum. Picture store art museum kind of thing. There's the main keep, because as we see here, we just, just haven't done crap yet, so there will be stuff here in the future. Glass maker, furnace, and I had a few other ideas. I know I went through these on the tour, on, I mean not these in particular, but the, some of the other buildings I was going to do. So we'll go back and watch the tour series now. The, the, the tour series is now complete. Okay, season one at least. Shroomer! He's going to do like mushrooms and crap. So, um, yeah. Just so you guys know, what did I have here? Oh, that's the uh, the regular library. I thought I had something here too. Let's see what it is. Fabric mill, sheep farm, inside the, the the walls of the castle. Yeah, I guess so. But we have so much room, we might as well put just a little bit of everything in. So I figured, you know. I'm gonna like just label things. I'll probably end up moving all of this stuff at some later point in time, but um, let's actually get back to where we're gonna be building today. Okay, we're back in the castle. Ah! Um, no, I don't know if I really wanted to build in here today, but I just sort of, I'm sort of gonna do that. So as you see here, because we changed those things in the, the recent texture pack video, the I didn't actually have to do into the changes. Our glowstone all looks like the the lamps. So. Um, I think our next project is going to be this room and maybe the uh, the room next to it, like I was saying in the main keep, because I wanted to make the dining room here. And I'm thinking of making a kitchen, sort of a kitchen bakery, all kind of things connected with it. I might expand that wall over a little more and make the kitchen a little smaller, because this is almost too big for a kitchen. But um, that's what we're going to probably be doing next episode. But today we are going to finish off one building over here oh, again. So let me pause again. Yeah. Okay. So uh, by popular demand, by a whopping one person that actually commented on my video, I will be continuing the work on this. So I had actually made a video where I actually showed me making these. It was one of those rant videos, and I just said, "Well, you know, I've been ranting too many in these videos, complaining about different things. I got to stop doing that." I, I just. I made like two or three different videos over the past couple of weeks. I just did not upload and I deleted because of that. Because I really just got to stop it with that. Like, that's just me. My own personal thing. Um, so, yeah, looking at this from the outside, I wanted to have the four corners be kind of kind of different. Um, kind of like these little bulb looking bulbs or something on the four corners so they're pretty self-explanatory if you just look at them I and mean, it's really not difficult to make I'll just go over here and just show you all, all I'm really doing is this all the way around you know you just keep going up like that I did one with the lamps but at the time this was I was using just the redstone lamps but now that I changed the glowstone in for this I could probably just forgo forgo the, the redstone version of it. So if you watch that texture pack video from they just uploaded 
just watch that one. That will explain what I did. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, these corners off the air. Um, I think here, all I'm really going to do is just keep going up with this. So, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do, really. It's just, you know. So there's a lot of monotonous work here, but it's I'm some obviously you're not going to get a very long episode here, but it is going to be a lot of work for me because <laughs> it's going to take me like a couple hours, might be an hour to, to finish just this part here, the two bulbs and and raising this uh, this dome up because I said I was going to make a dome, so that's what I'm going to do. The only thing I'm a little worried about is this thing here maybe obstructing this, which I think it's going to just come really almost too close to this. So I have been debating whether I might just use my copy paste tool to move this over maybe a couple blocks. It'll make things almost too close to that too, but I can't have it actually being right on this, so I might be doing that off the air. So once I've raised all these up, I will be doing a little more work on the inside to just show you the finishing details here. And um, we'll call it an episode. This will be a, kind of a short one. And I guess we'll go back to, I guess we're going back to the main keep. Um, I know I said I was going to do the plaza, but I think the plaza would be a little boring for you guys to watch. I might just do that off the air. I'll just show you some highlights. As I near the top, I'm noticing that um, I didn't quite want this to be like a pyramid on top, but it's sort of turning out to be one. So I might have to restructure the top here a little bit in that I might just flatten it and not make it quite so steep. You know, how it, that's sort of what it's getting right now. So as I look at this, I, I'm going to take one more layer off from what I have here. And I'm going to make a layer of um, this going around. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna put a flat top on this I think. Yeah, basically like so. I will probably just make this a regular floor here. And I will I don't know I think I'm just gonna end it. I don't think I'm gonna add anything else to the the, the ceiling here the roof. Ooh, getting lag gets like that too when you got large open spaces beneath. Got issues rendering that stuff, I guess. Okay, so I guess. Well, I'm gonna have to take a look at the zone when everything's finished. So let me just pause here. I'm gonna try and do these now, and we'll see how it works out. Okay, came back. Uh, basically, we're done here, at least in the outside parts of it. I'll show you that in a minute. Wanted to show the view from inside when you're looking up. Looks really nice. Uh, we're gonna work on some of the internal pillars in a minute. Let's quickly show you the view from the outside. I think I'm going to do a few touch-up work things here. Um, let's maybe cap some things off with this. Uh, let's do something like like that. No. Eh, nah, I don't like that. Um, Let's do, we could probably do this metal fence around here. Let's just top this one off here. Around, we'll go around like this. And um, while I'm doing that, I want to talk about a few of the other buildings I'm going to be making in the, in the future. Like I said in the previous video about the texture pack stuff, um, I am going to be doing like a, an area in this map somewhere. It's sort of going to be an evil empire of sorts where we kind of do what we're doing here but everything's kind of wicked and evil looking <laughs> dark darker architecture it won't be nowhere as big as an elaborate as this but we're gonna have like one huge tower probably some sort of a citadel type of castle type thing in there there'll be a huge like um volcano i mean we're gonna basically try and do something very similar to what you see in lord of the rings and mordor that kind of a look is what i'm looking for so it'll definitely be something similar to that. And things around it, I sort of want to have like a haunted forest and a haunted swamp area kind of nearby for it and make like a huge iron wall out of the same materials that we're using. Um, perhaps I might have to make some decorative blocks that are going to accent that iron block material that I was using from last episode. 
um, where I showed you all the, the new texture packs stuff I was working on for my texture pack here. This white marble is part of it, but I'm going to have to maybe do something to kind of accent that, um, you know, the iron block I showed you from last time. Um, I wanted to do some sort of a pillar in this place. I'm trying to think of what would be the best location for it. I sort of want it to kind of curve in like this. No, that's not working for me. Yeah, sort of like that. So it kind of goes in. Of course, we're getting a dark area here, which I don't like. So we're gonna probably implement this 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 in here. Oh, I already had it in my inventory. That's real smart. <laughs> well, at any rate. All right, so it goes up and kind of arches a little bit. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. I'm gonna do these four like this, but then I might do some, maybe a couple on the outside edges or somewhere here. Uh, mainly just because I want the kind of the some like ribbed things on the on the ceilings. What I mean by that is I want I want it to look like it's got some structural support in here. Yeah, I guess that could work. And then we just basically put in those in here also. Pick a spot and make this one even with this one. Okay, I came back. I basically did, I finished the inside here, but upon looking at the outside, there's something lacking in this. I'm not 100% sure I can put my finger on what it is quite. Um. Perhaps I need to change the materials of one of these. Maybe I need to make these lapis blocks to match the, the lapis blocks inside. Maybe I need to make or some change some colors on the outside. I don't know what it is. Just something about this building just doesn't quite look right. Maybe the dome should be a, a, a special color. It's sort of almost too much gray. Um, I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is. It's just there's something lacking here. The design's okay, it's just, and I can change the materials like a, almost instantaneously in the um, the editor. So I just have to try and think of what that is. And so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys if you guys want to comment. I was thinking maybe using that white um, this white marble here on the outside design somewhere, or perhaps we need to go back with the lapis box somewhere. I, I don't know. If I was just almost thinking maybe using that white, the white marble on, I don't know, either this trim or not the trim and maybe these things. But I, I really don't think that's going to look right either. Maybe we need to just have uh, the blue lapis blocks trimming here. Or maybe we just incorporate that, that blue down here somehow. I'm not sure. Something there's something about the building that, that needs some more color to it. Maybe we have to have a ring of uh, these on one of the, on, on here. Like maybe this should this whole layer here. Maybe these should be all that. The lamps. I I, I don't know, they'd look like a stripe. It wouldn't look right. But I I don't know. I'm I'm going to leave it up to you guys, maybe throw out some ideas, but um, for now this project is, is sort of done. If I do make some improvements or things off of your suggestions, I'll show it to you at the beginning of next episode. And yes, I did move it over, so it's sort of like between that building and the cathedral, it's sort of evenly spaced. Well, I say sort of, I didn't really measure it. As long as it looked good, you know, from visually from the eye, that's fine. So I am going to end this project. This has already gone on much longer than I had hoped. Um, but if you can think of some ideas, I will do some alterations here as far as, probably as far as color goes, I'm thinking. Or perhaps this is just too steep. Maybe I need to cut it off a little lower. That could be it too. 
But you got to think of it from the from the ground point of view. And from the ground, it doesn't look too bad, but you don't really see the details. So I don't know. It's uh, I'm debating that. This is a, an unusual one. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm ending this episode, and I will catch you guys next time. And I did have a whole bunch of things I wanted to talk about as far as things I wanted to build around the area. It's kind of brainstorming some ideas and things I still need to do around um, around the land. But maybe I'll bring them up next time. We'll see. All right. Matter of it, signing off.